Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Kiosk Value Working Group meeting, uh, May 19th. Please add yourself to the attendees and tell something about yourself. Uh, so the first item in our agenda is Kevin was supposed to bring a list of metrics that needs to be reviewed that we can look at since Kevin is here. So I'll give floor to the Kevin. Uh, so I have started doing this. Uh, I'm creating issues for uh, uh, four metrics to start. This was on Matt's advice to just uh, look at a few and not go through all of them. So I'm working my way up from actually the, the bottom of the list of value metrics rather than the top. Uh, so the one I'm looking at right now is organizational influence. Uh, I should have, uh, by the end of uh, the weekend, I should have those uh, those four metrics, uh, recommendations for those four metrics. So, okay. uh, and I'm, I'm treating them all like there are going to be recommendations, uh, even if, uh, at the, at this point. So I'll go through and at the end, if nothing needs to be done, then I'll just close the issue, but I am creating the issue, uh, for each one that I'm looking at as I go through. Was that the process you used, Matt? Uh, yeah, if I always had recommendations, so I never had a finish uh, a situation where I had no comments. Okay, I was kind of assuming that would happen on my end as well. Yeah. So even if it's just things like your spacing is off, you know what I mean. Sometimes it's just minor things. Yeah. So I do. I do actually have. Uh, so I have the issues uh, kind of created and open on my screen. I just haven't published them yet. So okay. Ho hopefully, I don't. Uh, Lose power or something. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, and I are also kind of. We were talking in DEI yesterday. We're kind of streamlining the process by which we review metrics. I think it was a little confusing, just in terms of what the steps are for review. Um, so, Mako, basically, just what we're doing is we have released metrics. You may know what we're talking about here, and we're just going back through and reviewing all the older ones, just because. Things that are two years old get kind of out of date. Um, and so, Kevin, we can just kind of work, I think, asynchronously on updating the issue template. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering, uh, we should, I'm thinking we should have a copy of that template uh, in the uh, community uh, repository as well. Yeah, we don't have it there. And then we can just copy it into the uh, the other places that it needs to go because we're putting it in the in the dot github uh folder for each of these repos but having having one point of truth would be good that way we don't have to edit all of them uh each time but i don't know how, we can't get it out of we'll still have to put it in each repository individually yeah yeah i'm thinking we just we put it in the community repo and then we can copy and paste it into the dot github repos uh okay. and then we can we can compare the one we have in the uh, in the working group repos to the, the to the one that's okay. in community and the one that's in community should be the the most up to date version. That's fine. Yep, that's fine. So at this point, they are all the same. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, we can just pick any one out of it can come out of value. It can come out of common. It doesn't matter. Okay, maybe I will. Uh, uh, maybe I will take one and edit a edit a version that I'm working with because I've already actually started kind of uh, making okay. changes to it in the the ones that I've been looking at. So maybe I will take my edited copy and post it to the uh, community community repo. repo. Actually, then... at that point, take all of them. There's three oh. templates. Yeah, because oh, put, also... put them all in there. Because mm -hmm. okay. at that point, we may as well just do it with all of them. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. We also made a change to the spreadsheet and added that column in the DEI working group about date of last mm -hmm. review. So I don't know if we need to do that on all the working groups. Yeah, I'll do that right now. But yeah, I should definitely add that. So uh, Kevin, a question. So as and when you are reviewing, you will bring that in the upcoming meetings or how you want as a us as a group to like look at uh, what you have been reviewing. 
so I think the I think the hope with these uh, reviews is that once I've gone through and created the issues, okay, it'll kind of stand on its own. So okay. you can you can go and look at them in the meeting, uh, but okay. also people uh, people can uh, grab the issue and, and do the work uh, without attending the meetings as well. So I, so I, okay. I think there is some hope that it's kind of standalone and that. Uh, oh. Uh, so I, I wouldn't plan on presenting any information on any individual metric unless unless there were questions about it. Okay, so you so you will create the issue and you will highlight the things that needs to be fixed or revised or uh, something. Yeah. So in the next meeting, when you're going to do the issues and PRs, uh, you should have at least four metrics that you can you can jump through if you want to. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is what we did in DEI the other day. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. This is helpful. So. Okay. So then I'll defer this to the cabin, and we can then move to the other agenda. So, uh, other agenda is we. Uh, we are working on a model, uh, project awareness model that we can take a look at it and maybe uh, move ahead with that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me share the link. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. So this was previously project popularity, then we move to it as a project awareness model. And we have some metrics that we can take a look at it. And... So I, my comment on this, so this if this is going to be a metric model. Yep. Um, it's it's probably getting pretty close to just kind of shipping it to the metrics model working group because we're not quite sure what the structure is yet. Okay. We're, we were in the last metrics model meeting. We were talking about repository structure because we had things like Kevin, to your point, like focus areas. We had things like um, toolkits. Like we had different folders in the repository, and they weren't really. They, they're not really representative of where we're going with metrics models. So at this point, I think just getting the content over to the metrics model working group is really all that's required. Like, we're not going to make it into a model here quite yet. Yeah. So the only thing that we uh, that I was thinking of, like, uh, since we have this discussion that we are, we are not going to shift everything to the metric, we we'll, like define the metrics we have some story and then for implementation part we might bring that to the model group yeah and that's fine so maybe yeah i guess maybe it's not shipping this text to the metrics model working group but just mm. I, I wouldn't how about um like maybe let's not worry too much about the structure of this quite yet because i think that's still evolving just a little bit yep like what the template will be right yeah, so maybe then we take a look okay, and final is okay. These are the metrics that should be there. And this is the objective or the story. And then then we can move it to the model group to further expand on it or collect the data or example or something. Sounds good. Okay. Um, you can stop recording for the timing till we are working on it. So. Um, let me share the screen. Just a second. 
Why it's not showing me the applications? Oh, so if I share this, you might see the Zoom screen too. I don't know. I don't see anything quite yet. Okay. How about now? Yep. Okay. So, uh, yeah, ten issues. Uh, okay, release notes. Uh, twenty twenty three. This is for. Uh, should we close this? Uh, continuous contribution notes. Um. Yeah, I think Kevin, you're on right now. I think we do close these, do we not? Yes. Okay. And uh, and reopen a new one. Yeah. So basically close it and open a brand new one. Okay. Uh, however, I don't think we are, uh, actually, yes, you should still, you should still open a new one. I was going to say, I, th I think we were holding off on, on metrics a little bit, uh, okay. but I think uh, some of them are still going to kind of, uh, uh, kind of seep through a little bit. So go ahead and open the uh, open the issue just so we have a way of tracking anything that's done uh, so that will be metric idea metric release candidate revising metric nubs or just open a blanket oh, yeah. blank. i almost think we should make a template called blank issue just so it's at the same level yep. <laughs> as the other ones uh, so what will be the date? It'll be uh, November or? October. October. So, so it'll be 2022-10. Okay. next issue we have is value for a project to be a part of larger ecosystem i can you, think can you control plus a little bit just to make that a little bit more readable okay is it better well each one gets better yeah okay <laughs> how about now yeah that's good thanks okay so uh, this issue was brought by Nico, and then he has a stop. He said he'll open, a, a, he'll write something on the uh, for a metric, but then he stopped coming back. So and I, I'm not sure if I can text him and ask him, do you, does he want to continue or what should we do? I'm not sure. And at some point. We, I'm in favor of closing issues. Okay, so maybe I'll ping him and ask him if he wants to continue. Otherwise, then I'll close. Issues. But you could just you could write a comment and then just close okay. the issue against that comment that just says, "Hey, closing." I don't know what other people's thoughts are. But. Yeah, that's one. Right. Yeah, that's, that's so then just close. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
okay. and we have a value report uh, discussion question Kevin you initiated this I think it was on more on the community report something so Kevin, your thoughts on this? Uh, so this would be a model at this point. Okay. Uh, and I think uh, I think we can just close this as uh, uh, when we start doing models and implementations, that would actually resolve this comment. So. so developing model covers this issue. Right. I don't know if we're developing a model that is this. No, but uh, this is a little this is a little high level. So the the model that would go with this hasn't really been fleshed out. Yeah. Uh, so since the since this isn't since this is kind of a high level idea, uh, which is satisfied by the models and implementations, I think we can close it without without moving it to the metrics models group okay because uh, it, it doesn't describe a specific model it describes a high level model that funders might want a model whatever yeah. that model might be yeah, and it, it is something that's on i've given it i have given this one some thought so this one could uh uh working with the metrics model working group i think this one could reemerge. uh the a, a funders model yeah, so we've been talking to, um, we just had a conversation with Localization Lab. And they're a group that supports projects who are, that are doing localization work. Um, and I don't, I don't know if it's about determining who, how to fund a project, like what projects should be funded. Uh -huh. But a lot of the interest that I hear from funders is about, okay, we've made the funding decision and we'd like to track the communities that we are funding to get a, to just make sure that they're doing well. <laughs> Not, so that's the conversation I hear pretty often. And I think that's related to this, is it not? Or could be? Uh, I suppose it could be. Uh, however, this one was, is really, it really is uh, about projects that are trying to signal value when they're looking for funding or funding agents trying to determine a project's value when determining uh, if they are going to be funded. And uh, a lot of my ideas on this one actually came out of that work with CZI, uh, where we were looking okay. at, uh, where we were actually looking at grant proposals. Yep. Right. Uh, so, uh, so I, yeah, I, I, I mean, I hear you. I, I totally hear you. So I think, yeah. I think this is good. I think this is important. Okay. Yeah, there, there is a, there is a space for this, but I think this is a, uh, it's at a high level now, and I think there are a couple different ways we could take it. So maybe it's a, maybe it, maybe it's a, a few different models around uh funding value yeah funding activity uh, that kind of stuff and, and one of them is one of them is maybe the way that you had talked about it and one of them is maybe the way that i've talked about it maybe there are a couple others that can kind of fit in there so maybe it's three or four models and implementations that uh kind of look at this particular uh uh area yeah, and I think there are enough groups out there that would be interested in something like this, whether it's Localization Lab, OTF, Code yeah. for Science and Society. I mean, there are a lot of groups that would be in this. So I, I do very much like it. I just uh, I don't think we need to keep this issue open. Uh, I think we can uh, we can move it forward in the uh, the metrics model group. Okay. Uh, I have closed this, and then we have uh, key performance indicators also from Kevin. So, uh, yep, 
this one? Uh, this one I was just trying to. Uh, uh, so at the time I posted this, I think value was kind of we we didn't really have a direction on where we were going. Yep. Uh, so I kind of posted this to get a conversation started. Okay. Uh, then. I see the discussion was to bring it to the Asia Pacific call. I don't know whether it has moved there or I don't know. And I, I had never, I hadn't seen these replies, so. <laughs> no, no time like the present. <laughs> whenever, so, I mean, whenever I talk about KPIs, my brain kind of like, I think it's all like foggy. So, so I uh, think there are, they're a little easy for us to jump into because we're not reinventing the wheel, right? So these the these particular things that I've mentioned are they are defined in a space that's kind of similar to ours. So the the question really then becomes like if we're trying if we're taking these things that exist in in the project management domain, what would they look like when we when we use kind of more of a community management uh, lens? Uh, so my thought was that these would be a little bit easier to, to define and would also be accepted in uh, organizations as well, because they're, they're things that they kind of already understand. Yeah, I like that last part. I mean, I like the whole part, but like thinking about just kind of that translational language is important. So I'm not sure how to go about this. Are we going to take these and define these terms or are we just closing this? I don't know. I think like we can have a milestone completed for a project. Maybe yes. I just want completed on budget. I mean, I guess the question is for Kevin, do you want to hold on to this thought for a little bit longer? I mean, it looks like there is some traction in the in the comments. Uh, I mean, mind you, they're they're old. They're yep. old uh, comments. So maybe it's something to think about. Maybe maybe step away from this, think about it, and uh, maybe we discuss it next value meeting on how we would go about uh, moving any of these forward or not forward. So should I keep it? Should I close it? No, just keep uh, it open. Okay. And then we have metrics for commercializing open source. Value metrics. Issues. issues. I have no idea how this framework is covering the commercialization. Maybe you could take a look at it. We're out of time. But yep. Next meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe we'll continue this with the next meeting. Do you want to take a look at that article before so that we know kind of what it's about? Yep. Here is the article. Matrix that matter when commercializing open source. All right. Yep. Could be something there. Cool. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks, folks. Thank you. Right. This was helpful. Tops out of battery. We must, we must be about done. All right. See you guys. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.